Thursday night here on TVO, we got the uh, American Grind, all right? 20... And it's in southeast Queensland, and, and uh, the code is growing. They're actually playing it here in about four states in Australia, and it's, uh, it's, it's uh, very safety conscious. They wear all this sort of stuff. We talked about it this morning from the uh, Jindalee Centurions we have. Peter Fernley and Anna Bogdanovich. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us in. Mm -hmm. Well, Anna, you don't play. No, I don't play. Right. Peter, you play. I've been doing it. Anna, how do you get involved? Well, um, my fiance is on the team yeah. and uh, I basically do the stats. Uh, we need stats so Peter can sort of That's overlook. statistics. Yes, yeah. statistics. That's a very important part of the game. Yes, it is. Well, he can just sort of find where our weaknesses are and where our strengths are in the team and sort of fix up where we're going wrong. Peter, how strong is the code and is it growing? Well, the code is quite strong. You've probably got over 200 people actively involved in the code. At the moment, it's only a second year in Brisbane, and it's grown last year from four teams to where we've got five teams, and next year we look like having a, at least eight teams in the competition in Brisbane. Because it is like religion in America. Everything just stops. The Super Bowl, of course, legendary, and, and TVO has, has all the games. But um, safety conscious in that they do have a lot of padding. Some of the padding has been tried by our rugby league players, but it has been banned. For what reasons would that be? Well, main reason, if you look at the shoulder pads they're in, you can see that it's a very hard plastic on the surface of the yeah. rubber there, and that's illegal because the players in rugby league don't have the rest of the padding to go with it. So that's the main reason it's been banned. Uh, but for the game of gridiron, because of the nature of the game, and it's completely different, you've got to have the, the plastic and the helmets and, and the thigh guards and knee guards to help protect against being hit by players that have got the equipment on. Now, it's, I find it a, a fascinating game to watch, but I don't profess to understand much about it. Is it hard to learn about it, Anna? Um, at first it is, yes, but um, you know, with the understanding of the game comes a really good appreciation of the game. Like, you can really enjoy it once you know the tactics. But it is a tactical game, and um, but no, it's not that hard to, to learn at first. It's like a game of chess, really, isn't it? It is. It's a game of it's chess with live people, yeah. But there seems to Peter, there seems to be a lot of stopping and they run around a lot. Like this guy who's gone out to the back, he's got the ball now. What what he's just been stumped into the turf. What, well, what he's done, that guy's playing a playing a running back and he just passed out to receive it here. And what they do is the quarterback goes into a huddle with each break and play, calls a, a series of moves to which every receiver and knows where they've got to go to on the field. And the quarterback's here like, here we go here in a huddle. He's called a play. They know where they have to run to. He looks for the open receiver, passes the ball to him, and hopefully the end result is they score it's a touchdown. A touchdown. So when they're going 24, 36, 33 hike, that actually means... It's a coded sequence of signals which tells the offensive players where they have to go on the field so they can receive the ball and run and score the touchdown. Now, for those, for those who don't know much about the game, a team is, uh, what, about 30, 30, 30 players? 30 to 45 people, yeah, you can have a squad. But on the field, only one time, you've only got 11 people actually participating on the field at any one time. And you have offensive teams offensive and defensive, defensive teams. teams. They're all specialists. You have some guy just runs on and kicks and then yep. goes off. Yeah. So guys, but they, they do that so that a guy can come on and kick the ball 60 to 70 yards, but does it with a skill so that the people who are chasing it through can tackle the opposition team before they make too much ground so that you've got the field advantage over them. Can you see it ever... Anna becoming a, uh, like the National Basketball League here, which TVO is proud to be associated with, has, and the Bullets, has just grown like topsy. But that has taken a long time. Mm. Can you see the same thing happening for Gridiron? Well, I hope so. Um, it's a very visual game. I think it's one of the, the most visual games of a football code. And uh, I'm certainly very interested in it. And a lot of people that you talk to, just they sort of get really wiped out by it when they watch the game, because they've never seen anything like it before. So I think it will take a few years, but yeah. I think after a few years, yeah, it should be pretty popular. The guys are normally enormous. Very, very big. But that guy, the refrigerator? Well, the fridge is 308 pounds, which is roughly 140 kilograms. And we've got a guy who's outweighs him by about 10 kilograms. So yeah, the guys are big and they're strong and very, very quick at that size. And that's the sort of person you're for. You just don't want a big, fat slob. You want someone who's very big and strong who can use his weight and out muscle somebody else. But is, there, is it a game of brains as well? Oh, very much so. You've got guys who are playing in those positions in America who are doctors and lawyers, and some, some of them are accountants as well. And some are playing for $9 million a season. Mm. Yeah, well... <laughs> <laughs> we have
haven't reached that league yet? No, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> Work no, I've got the money. Good luck with it. And, uh, of course, much, the, the, the uh, football, the gridiron is on TVO Thursday nights after the, uh, after the movie. Mm -hmm. I'll put this back on if you're all <laughs> Okay, we're going to be back with more living, guys. 24, 36 minutes. Hike! Hey! <laughs>